Welcome to the ITU studio here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference, WTDC, happening here in Kigali, Rwanda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Ernest Mafuta Katoka, who is the chair of the Affordable Internet Access Special Interest Group, part of the Internet Society. Mr. Mafuta Katoka, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. It's a pleasure to have me here and also having this digital collusion on WTDC, so it's a big event that I'm excited to be part of. Fabulous, and we're very pleased to have you here. Yes. So uh, tell me, I'd like to start off by asking you about meaningful connectivity. It's very much a buzzword here uh, and, and around the world. Uh, is meaningful connectivity a solution to building an inclusive digital economy, in your opinion? No, no, thank you. So uh, allow me to say that um, in order for us to have um, meaningful connectivity, there are um, challenges first that we must look at. So we must solve address these challenges in order for us to have a, an inclusive digital economy. Number one, we're looking at the digital accessibility gap in terms of uh, connectivity. We are looking at the digital literacy gap in rural areas, and we are also looking at uh, the smartphone accessibility gap. So I'm um, of the view is that if we're to have an inclusive digital economy, where um, both the unconnected and uh, the connected are able to participate in First, we need to address the issue of digital literacy because it has been noted that um, many people in uh, rural areas, the challenge mostly is not about connectivity, but the challenge is about literacy. Okay? And this is because we are not localizing content to their level. So if we're able to lo localize content to their level, we are able to solve the issues of digital connectivity. So, and the other issue is the issue of uh, affordability of smartphones. We have seen this gap widening of uh, digital access in terms of affordable smartphone devices. So the solution to that is maybe policymakers can come up with an incentive if um, mobile devices or devices that are meant for the rural areas or unconnected areas, they can be tax exempt. Like that, it can be affordable and accessible to everyone. Because uh, Max, the digital economy, this is the very big economy that we're looking at. But in order to have all countries to participate in and to have this um, economy to be bigger, we need to bridge this digital accessibility gap, the literacy gap, then we're going to achieve meaningful connectivity. So there's no meaningful uh, connectivity if we have this literacy gap and the accessibility gap in terms of affordability of smart devices. Tax yeah. exemption is a little bit complicated though if you're talking about very regionalized areas. Uh, how would you put that in place then, do you think? All oh, right. Okay, so um, one of the challenges that I've seen is policy ecosystems for countries in terms of uh, how they structure their taxes. Uh, most countries, I think, they are more focused on uh, uh, structuring taxes on the already connected uh, society that uh, most of the time they forget that these people in hardest to connect areas, this is where the numbers are. So if we can have uh, a policy around uh, the rural areas, rural connectivity areas that will enable lower taxes for people in rural areas, we, 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 we can solve this. But for now, all I can say is that uh, we need an inclusive uh, policy for countries to follow. When we have this inclusive policy for countries to follow, number one, it must come with localization, there must be content which is local, and there must be a model that is essentially for that region. Yeah. And are there any other uh, policies that you think should be put in place to ensure meaningful connectivity? Yes, um, I think uh, I was quick to know not about policies. So I think countries must set up inclusive policies and they must be consistent. When we have a consistent policies, we are going to achieve meaningful connectivity. All these talking about digital literacy, smart devices, digital economy, it's all about policies. When you're the right policy at the grassroots level, surely you're going to have the right meaningful connectivity at the top level. And what advice would you give to uh, uh, policymakers and regulators? My, my advice to policymakers is to continue engaging the unconnected and also to bring in um, uh, members from the unconnected society because most of the time is that um, we make policies on people who are not present here. We always talk about co getting connected, people 
getting this to this area to this region but we're forgetting that the real patients are in the remote areas so how are we going to design a model that is going to fit the unconnected bring one of them let them participate on the table then there will be other tables here for policymakers. there will be another table here for innovators while the patient who is in this case from the unconnected area will tell us their problems in terms of their region, their challenges, then an innovator would design a model that would suit that locality. Now, ITUWDC is, uh, WTDC is very much, of course, uh, the, the place where connecting the unconnected in a meaningful way, uh, particularly, uh, is, is, a, is exactly what's on the table. Uh, so uh, I'm sure you're going to be participating in very interesting conversations here. But we thank you very much for joining us here today in the studio. <laughs> thank you. And, and sharing your valuable insights with us. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon. All right. Thank you very much, Max. Thank you very much. Ellis. Thank you. Cheers.